Every August, the City of Denver's Denver Days program helps bring neighbors closer to each other by celebrating the diverse neighborhoods in which they live. As Katie shows us this year, the celebrations will still happen, but they'll just look a bit different. I'm so happy to be joined now by Kaylee Showers with the City and County of Denver's Human Rights and Community Partnerships Agency. Kaylee, thank you so much for chatting with us today. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. So we are talking Denver Days 2020. I'd like to start with a little bit of background on Denver Days. Mayor Hancock started this back in 2013 as a way to bring neighbors together. Yes, so we're in the eighth year of Denver Days and eight years ago, Mayor Hancock initiated this program as a way for neighbors to connect with neighbors and it resulted in a safer and more connected city that we all call home. Um, so this year, obviously, we've been facing some unprecedented challenges, but we wanted to still engage with community and connect um, in a way that honored the initial mission. So how exactly are you doing that for this year's Denver Days? So we want to make sure that everyone is safe. That's our first priority. Um, and so we wanted to still celebrate community and what makes each neighborhood so special and unique. I think that's why Denver Days has been such a successful program. And so instead of the block parties, uh, community service projects and gatherings and parks, we are going to be doing mini parades in each of the 11 council districts of Denver, um, or as we've come to call them, walking celebrations of culture and community. And so each night over the first week of August, we're gonna be hosting um, just a celebration, getting out into the neighborhoods. We'll have a band that kicks off the parade, um, some local artists that we're really excited to work with. And we just encourage residents to get out on their front yards, kind of bring the backyard to the front, um, have a little barbecue, wave hello to neighbors, and just feel more connected to their city. Oh, I love that. This will be so fun. So why do you think it's important, especially during these challenging times, that we continue to hold events like Denver Days? Yeah, I know this time is so challenging for so many people in so many different ways. Um, and having that sense of togetherness is still so important. Um, you know, I know early on in Quarantine and we were doing the 8 p.m. howl throughout the city and it was just a fun way to remember that people are out there and we're here and we're all struggling and that you've still got neighbors around you that love and care for you. And so we're wanting to honor that in Denver Days um, in a unique and special way this year. And it's just so important to feel that sense of community and togetherness. It really results in a safer city and makes everyone feel a little bit more connected to home. Daily showers. Thank you so much for working on Denver Days, putting this together for all of us to enjoy safely this year. Again, those neighborhood parades start this Saturday, August 1st. Check the Denver Days page of the City of Denver's website for more about where you can catch the parade in your neighborhood.